Here we go again. I just watched Sheffield United 2, Luton 0. And my immediate thoughts are, we are so lucky. That could have been 6, 7, 8 0. No. Wow. Wow. I haven't seen a performance. Well, actually, to be honest, a lot of our performances this season have been absolutely atrocious. I'll reiterate what I've been saying all season. Essentially, the football is absolutely piss poor. There's no getting around that. And I've said that so many times. And people have said to me in the comments, Oh, whoa, stop being so negative. And what do you know about football? Well, I'll turn the question on the people that say that. What does Rob Edwards know about football? Based off our performance today, not very much. Today, it looked like a non-league side playing against Man City. The stats from the first half were crazy so pass completion Sheffield United had a 91% pass completion compared to our 70% and they had over 70% of the ball it didn't look much better come the end of the game like their pass completion had dropped down to about 85% hours Still about 70%. Well, Rob did say he wanted to see beautiful, fast, free-flowing football. And guess what, Rob? Today you saw it. Sheffield United absolutely schooled us. It wasn't just the performance, though. It was the whole mindset from the team throughout. It was a defeatist one. Passes. The simple things. The basic five, ten-yard passes. They, they weren't happening. They were going straight back to Sheffield United, who were straight on attacking us every single time. It's absolutely mind-boggling that we escape with a 2-0 defeat. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. And I'm furious. I'm furious about how atrocious this performance was. If you remember when Luton played Norwich in the FA Cup all those years ago under Paul Buckle, and we won 1-0. It was sort of that level between the two teams. However, you know what that team, Paul Buckle's team, had? They had passion. They were trying. They fought for each other. That is not happening. And where, I said before, you've got to point fingers. They've got to be pointed at Rob Edwards. He has lost what little of the goodwill he had with the fan base now. If there are any fans still defending Rob Edwards, they need to ask themselves some really searching questions because after today, there's no way Rob Edwards is turning this around. Okay, onto the game. So he said in the pre-match report, we've been trying a few new things this week. And he said, I don't believe in systems. You know, if you look, we, we, we defend, you know, it's never a three at the back. You know, if they're up against us, then there's, we always leave three at the back as well, or whatever. We match up man for man. Rob, you got to change it because it's not working. And as I've said over and over again, if the philosophy isn't working, embrace the fundamentals because you don't know what you're doing. You really don't. You're going to get more time because you're a jammy boy. You signed a four-year deal and you're far too expensive to sack. But then I had a thought during the game because I was watching Alfie Doughty, right wing, Victor Moses on the left wing, Jordan Clark playing as a false nine. What? was that about? Jordan Clark playing as a false nine. The man can't hold up a ball to save his life. I had a thought, is Rob Edwards trying to get himself sacked? Because he knows there's a juicy payoff coming. I can't escape that thought that he could actually be trying to get himself the sack. The football was appalling today. Genuinely appalling. We couldn't string a couple of passes together. One particular highlight for me was we actually had an attack. Couldn't believe it. Alfie Doughty played it across to Victor Moses. It was a good, a good bit of attack. The, the only play we had like all game. And then Victor Moses cuts in, takes a while to shoot. He has a shot, it's blocked. We retain the ball. Alfie Doughty had run across. And then you know what happens? The ball gets recycled from our attack where Victor Moses had a shot. And then five seconds later, it's back with Kaminsky. McGuinness is passing it back to Kaminsky. What is that? Retain the pressure. Keep the pressure. It's mind boggling. I don't understand how he's been working. As he said, we've been working on a few things this week. As he said, you know, with the chiseled jaw, you know, he shaved the beard. Been working on a few things this week. What the hell have you been working on? What has he been doing? Because I'll tell you what, they haven't been working on winning football games. That looks like a team 
that hasn't trained. It looks like a team that has no fitness. Their first goal, Sheffield United's first goal. There were five or six second balls that we should have won. McGuinness got beaten in the air. Kraus got beaten in the air. Jordan Clark didn't even contest the ball. He was, Jordan Clark turned around and was ready to bolt off for a counter attack because, you know, he's a top false nine. He was leading our line like a champ. No one contested those. And then Ruel Walters has the ball nicked off his foot. Raksaki, what a player by the way, if only we had actually gone in for him in the summer, but you know, he's too expensive. Raksaki finishes it. Raksaki put us to the swords and you know what, Sheffield United, they even showed us the disrespect of not needing Hamer because he's got one booking until he's banned for a game. So they're saving him for Leeds because they knew, Sheffield United knew, that Lucent today would be an absolute pushover and we were. We didn't even turn up and you know what? The fans on social media, they are right. It's embarrassing. His tactics are clueless. The team looked disinterested, unfit. I don't know what his tactics were about today. It was embarrassing. But guess what? We got Watford up next and they just overturned a loss to Middlesbrough. They were 1-0 down. They turned it round. They're licking their lips. Absolutely licking their lips. That's the derby. And they are going to school us. So you know what? The one solace of if Watford came and turned us over on our own patch. The club will have no choice but to sack Rob Edwards. But they probably won't because money. Too much money. I hope he is trying to get the sack. Once again, the club aren't going to do it. They're not going to pull the trigger. The only way we get rid of them is if Wolves decide to sack their manager and bring him in. But to be honest, they're probably going to be too smart and get a good manager in. That Brighton game, I keep thinking about that Brighton game. He thought he'd cracked it. He thought this was a game of football manager. He thought it was solved. This one formation, one formation to rule them all. Got found out 45 minutes later against Newcastle, but he's just kept doing it. And it's just derivatives of the same formation every single time. And he looks like he's low on confidence himself. He doesn't know what he's doing right now. But anyway, Watford up next at home. We got an international break to cool off. I used to hate international breaks. Now, I don't mind them. I actually quite like them. At least I don't have to watch this absolute shower of shit. I wonder what Rob's going to be working on during international break. I guess we'll see. Right, as always, come on you hatters.